play. By the way, that's his first win since 1979 in March and July. Two games in the American League with all the cold weather. Most of the games were either indoors or out west. One game is out west. Davey Lopes is new for the open days. They're glad they have him. Last night he walked with the bases loaded in the 11th inning to give Billy Smart's team a 3-2 win. Jeff Jones picked up the win in relief. That's a surprise. Don Austin is the loser. Also a winner last night, Seattle over Minnesota 11-7. Jeff Baylor, a rookie, had three hits, a homer, and five RBI. Cincinnati was off last night. Yeah, see, they're off all the time. This kid, they're playing the kids tonight against Chicago. Their second game, Nicky Nolan on the mound for the Cubs. And Bruce Gorenny, that nine wins for the a year ago, will be catching for Cincinnati. They have a two-game lead over Detroit. In the Western Conference playoff race, the Lakers and Seattle Supersonics are both in. And that didn't cause them to be up any last night. The Lakers took the to San Diego. Portland Trailblazers stay mathematically alive with a win last night over the Denver Nuggets. Also, pro basketball last night winners were Philadelphia, Milwaukee, and Utah. All right. Tom, um, sit yeah. the camera on. Oh, yeah. Oh, Then about 15 Rangers from Marshall and others from West Virginia State will take part in the FTX. There was still a chance of losing. It ends rather than disease-oriented. Don't that look good? Disease-oriented. The whole thing started back in February when a man in Belgium died after eating some salmon and an Alaskan. As it turns out, he died of botulism. Now, eight Alaskan canneries are in the process of recalling some 50 million seven and three quarter ounce cans of salmon because of canning defects, which apparently allow botulism toxins to grow. The best bet is if you have some canned salmon at home in seven and three quarter ounce cans, check with your grocery.